Bonjour, c'est Jeanne. Um, I wanted to talk about my first two weeks in Paris. Everything is getting better. I am meeting more people, really, really nice people who just want to help this poor little neurotic American out. Um, I have started school. I started school this week and I also am in the middle of getting my immigration papers kind of settled uh, with OFI. I've had some trouble going to City Hall to see what I would need to prove that I live here, that I have an address, and I just got that kind of DMV attitude of just like, um, it's not my problem, here are these papers, you can look them over and come back. Not this like detailed like, well, this is what you need, um, do you have this? None of that really helpful stuff for someone who, you know, is an immigrant and doesn't really have like a lot of help and also does not speak the language as well as she should and I feel like that has kind of shaken my confidence a little bit because the first week was amazing but it's, it's gotten so real this week and you know what this is a test this is a test from God to see if I really want to stay here and if I can overcome this I can overcome anything right so um, I want to talk about the people for a second I get where the French kind of rude attitude stereotype comes from, but let me just say this. If you come to Paris, if you come to France with the knowledge of the language, with the intention to at least try, you're giving a better impression and you're making an effort and they're going to see that and they're not going to be rude to you as they would if you came here with no knowledge, no, no, um, research on the country and its politics and its culture and everything I feel like it it would be the same in America it's if you came to America and you didn't speak any English and you're trying to like navigate and I mean in America we're not that friendly to tourists either so shade me pas shade uh, it is what it is it's really nice if you learn the language here and, and it's really nice if you speak it and you practice it because I feel like that's communication. That's a, that's a way to connect with someone. And yeah, it, it's nice. It's like a nicer impression, I feel. So I have been trying to speak as much French as I can. I've been trying to kind of minimize my English, minimize my Spanish, but it's been kind of hard because the friends I've met in school have uh, Latino backgrounds and or they're from English-speaking countries or they know English. So I, I have been like sneaking in some English here and there and some Spanish here and there, which I think is like kind of fucked up my brain a little bit because <laughs> I'm not just thinking in French. I'm not just watching French things. I'm, I'm thinking in other languages now and I feel like before my first week, just French. All the people that I met, just French. And I think that really helped me, but um, I'm gonna try to kind of minimize my interactions in those languages for now. I will speak to people, but it will only be in French, and I feel like that will help me. I'm finding the French people to be so nice, so helpful, like, they're incredibly welcoming. Like, if you, if you, like, really, really try, they're so nice. And as an American, like, a uh, we're very independent and we kind of don't trust a lot of people. We don't really like when people like help us out. We're always like, what's your intention here? Like, what are you, what are you trying to do here? But um, I don't feel like the French have that same kind of mindset. And so they're very, very eager to help. It's not like a, a burden for them. And I'm so grateful because I'm still navigating everything and I'm, I came here alone so for for people to be very nice to me and to be very helpful and tell me they tell me like you can ask for help like it's okay <laughs> and my American ass is just like 
Okay, okay. Like, calm down. Okay, okay, you can help me. I will ask for help if I need it. It's very nice for me. So all the all the friends that I made, all the all the people that I come in contact, so sweet. Honestly, so sweet. It it just gives me like a very it kind of changes my perspective on America because we're not that welcoming. <laughs> Obviously not. Um we're not that um I feel like if we do help someone, we don't have a good attitude about it and we feel like uh yeah, I'll help you, but like I have other things to do. It's it's not with like a you are bothering them. I I feel, but it's okay because the French are not like that. So um, I think that the the French are completely misunderstood, and I think they're very sweet and very nice, and I'm very happy to be here and find that out for myself. So I'm just saying, change your perspective. Come here. <laughs> But, um, I do feel like, as a woman, by myself, when I do go out at night or something like that, I have had like instances where men try to be rude or they try to like harass or say really kind of like smart ass shit. And I feel like that's not okay. Like just because I'm alone and I'm a woman doesn't mean you can harass me, doesn't mean you can joke that I'm like a hooker standing on a corner when I'm just looking up directions to go to my friend's house like that's not fucking cool that's like bad humor to me and it's disrespectful and I don't want to feel like a like Frenchmen are all like that because they're not I do find that to be very disrespectful and not cool and it does make me feel a little uncomfortable when that happens because I mean, I'm here and I don't have anyone to stick up for me. I have to stick up for myself. And so when a man is trying to kind of approach me and try to say some slick shit, those are the instances where I get very like kind of West Coast Latin and I'm just like, you know what? Nitushpa, don't fucking look at me. Like, walk away. Don't even like acknowledge them just because you don't have to give these bitches attention. Like, you don't have to give them attention. Um, you don't have to engage them in any way. You can just keep walking and, and pay them no mind. And it kind of sucks that we have to do that as women. We have to like try harder to protect ourselves and we have to change our behaviors to keep ourselves safe. And that's fucked up because men should just be respectful of women at all times. But that's the way it is and I'm not gonna put myself in a certain situation where I kind of lash out on this person and worsen the situation i'm not going to do that because i have to make sure i come home alive so um not not that it's that serious but i'm very conscious of these things at all times and so i do have that that kind of advice for women who come to europe you know always be aware of your surroundings i know that sounds that's not new information but like really really don't look at your phone at night like know where you're going um, don't engage with people who are harassing you, just kind of like be tough and walk away and don't give them a reaction, don't give them like a feeling that you're scared. And you know, if all else fails, I'm sure there's other people around, you can go um, walk up to another group of girls or walk up to a couple and just be like, can I wait with you? And I feel like that's not a problem. French people are very nice and understanding, so. That is another thing that I've been dealing with. Um, it happened today. I was filming some shots for this video at the Canal Saint Martin because I, I love it. That's my, that's one of my favorite like places to go in Paris. I, I love that neighborhood. I love the tenth. I, I think it's so chic. I love the graffiti. I love the hip hop boys. Like that's the area that I want to live in. So. I just think it's so cool and so I wanted to film it because I it's my favorite and I don't know there's something about it that, that makes me very happy so I went there and I had my camera out and I was filming a little bit by the canal and this lady it was this lady who was harassing me just because I have a camera and it makes them kind of it triggers that that idea that you're a fucking tourist and you're an easy target and I'm gonna steal something from you and that's like as a photographer, that's so annoying because I want to be able to photograph like 
safely and I don't want to feel like conscious of like I'm carrying a camera around and that's gonna make me a tourist instantly like I feel like that's so annoying but anyways this lady um, came up to me when I was filming and had my sunglasses on she's like Ah, bonjour, jolie fille. Uh, I love your your sunglasses. And then she touched she touched my ass too. She like went straight up in my ass. And I was like, oh my god, like je ne suis pas une touriste. Uh, ne touche pas. Like so fucking bizarre situation. Just because I had my camera, I think that's so annoying. Um, and so. That happened today. I was harassed by a woman and she groped me. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, but it's kind of like if I was a different woman, if I was younger, I'd be really scared. But that, you know, that again, that West Coast Latina came out and I was like, you're not touching me. Like, I'm not a tourist. You can go. Um, and don't be scared. Don't be scared. They're trying to like scare you. So that was a really silly thing that happened today and <laughs> it's what I have to deal with when I walk alone and when I have my camera so I was telling my friend who's from Holland about my experiences as an American being here and I was noting that um, Europeans, French specifically because we're in France really don't know the boundaries of a personal space like people will just go up to me and be very close to my face and they'll talk to me and I'm just kind of like Oh my god, you're too close, like, you're giving me anxiety. Um, and uh, I've been walked in on being naked and it's just kind of like, n'importe quoi, ce n'est pas grave. Like, they don't care, they don't think it's like a big deal. And I'm just like, uh, you just saw my ass, like, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but to them, it's just like, it's not a big deal. And um, they don't knock it, <laughs> it's okay. And then another thing that, that I noticed, like the lady that I live with, like she'll touch my stuff, like she'll touch my like underwear and my shoes and I'll just be like, like that, no, you don't do that. Like you don't do that. But to her, it's, it's not a big deal. She's just cleaning. Like there's no kind of like thought. And I feel like that's very American. It's just like, we're very protective of our stuff. We don't really trust anyone. We don't really want anyone to be like that near to us. And. You know, we're very anxious people, we're very neurotic about our things and to a club in Paris called Concrete and I had my, my credit card, I had my California ID and I had some cash in my jacket because I didn't want to bring a purse and my friend was just like, I can hold your jacket so you can dance and you can like be free and I was just like, no it's okay, you don't have to touch my jacket, like I, I, it's not a problem and she's like, no 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 no, it's okay, like give me your jacket, you can have fun, like it's gonna be okay and it took a lot to, <laughs> out of me to just kind of be like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that, I'm not comfortable but I, I let her do it and so um, she was holding it and then I went dancing and it's such a big place so I went around 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 and then I, I found her and I was like where's my jacket like you're not holding my jacket like and then inside I was just like I knew it I knew she was gonna lose it like oh my god like all my stuff is in there like what am I gonna do and she's like Jen like come here and she took my hand and she took me downstairs and her sister had it she's like it's okay see <laughs> It's just like Americans, man. We're fucking nuts. We're fucking nuts. And these are the cultural differences that I'm experiencing right now. And they're so silly, but they make me feel very, <laughs> very like conscious of like these weird little kind of rituals that I do that all Americans do. Um, it's very funny. So I'm getting a lot of like weird. <laughs> I'm getting into very weird situations with French people and they're so sweet about it They're so kind of like understanding of just like, you know, cultural differences another thing was like I Was telling one of my friends like I'm I'm gonna take a nap before I come over like I'm, I'm pretty tired And it, he's a guy and he was telling me like oh you could take a nap at my house and then that kind of like Latina mom kind of teachings of just like you don't sleep over people's houses you don't go to guys houses because they just want one thing from you 
and I was like, no, no, it's, it's okay. Like I can sleep at my house. It's it's not weird. And he's like, nothing's gonna happen to you. Like I'm I'm not gonna sleep with you. Like you're, you're gonna be in my bedroom and I'm gonna be in the living room. And and I was just like, no, <laughs> that's weird, man. And um. <laughs> And so needless to say that one I did not accept. I, I didn't take a nap and I just went over and it was okay. <laughs> so um, Americans, we just don't trust anyone. Uh, and it's really funny to me. But I'm having a great time in Paris. Like I'm very happy with the people that I've met. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to learn the language and learn about culture through the people that I'm meeting. and. You know, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to see, and I, I haven't even covered like a quarter of it, so I have a lot to kind of discover about the city. I have a million museums to check out and galleries, and you know, I'm still settling in, so I'm not kind of concerned with like seeing everything all at once because I have a lot to do in terms of, you know, staying here, responsibilities and priorities, but um, I think that it's been really great so far, even if it's not perfect, even if I'm really stressed out, even if I get harassed, it's okay. It's okay, it's not gonna change my impression of Paris. I know that it's not a perfect city, there's a lot happening politically here, There's, it's in a crisis and I understand that and I'm not um, blind to this at all. I'm not blind to its problems at all and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it is la vie en rose. Um, I'm not going to sit here that it's all baguettes and croissants and flowers and daisies and unicorns because it's not. It's a real country with real problems and I'm here to learn about everything that's happening in Europe politically and I'm here to learn about the culture and I'm here to learn everything, everything I can. Like, I love this country. so. I think this is good. This is a good fit for now and I'm excited to see what happens next and I hope you will join me. Send me an email if you want to know more about me, if you want to know about what I like to do here. I'm sure that I'll make more videos in the future. Thank you guys so much. Leave me a comment. I'll really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. A bientôt!